How did your student government college experience shape your career ambition? Well, I went to American University, which is an incredibly political school. You know, everybody comes there. It's in Washington, D.C. It's, it has an actual campus. So even though you're in the city, it's not like it's separated out like GW or NYU, for example, right? So you're there, you can actually walk around, you meet everybody, you see everybody. So at the end of my sophomore year, I decided to run for student body president, which everybody was kind of you know, surprised by. They were like, you haven't done anything here, you know, you, you're, you're new to the scene, so on and so forth. But for me, I had built so many relationships and had so many friends and saw so many issues and problems, and I genuinely thought I could do a decent job at this. So I set out and went door to door through the international dorms and you know, hung out in the quad and talked to friends, engaged people. And we ended up winning that student government election by six votes. And I was the youngest one in the race as a sophomore. So it did a couple of things. One, it showed me, don't ever listen to anybody else you know, when they say you can't do it or it's too hard or too difficult. Give it a shot. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, and number two, it taught me that every single vote counts. <laughs> so when you win an election <laughs> by six votes, it's pretty remarkable. Um, what happened in student government there is we really just dove in and I, and I realized that being in a position of elected office, even on a student government side, and we had a small budget of like $600,000, but we were able to do a lot of things on campus to unify students and promote diversity and campus spirit and, uh, and really just engagement in the process. And I think that year was so successful that when I ran for re-election, we ran in a five-way race and there was no runoff because we had you know, exceeded everybody's expectations and, and had a majority of the vote and won by over 300 votes. So today, now that I'm looking at running you know, for city council and so on, a lot of that, you know, I kind of think back to that experience, right? When all the odds were against us, everybody was kind of saying, you know, you're not the establishment candidate, you're the underdog, so on and so forth. And, and I welcome that. I, I like to be in that position because then it forces you to work even harder to kind of get out there and get your message out. And, and that's what I want to do in, in this kind of race. So.